Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Wise from Lamberton and Wilson Middle Schools. This week I'm going to show you how to have some more explosive fun, this time with baking soda and vinegar. For this experiment you need vinegar, baking soda, toilet paper or tissues or a paper towel, a glass bottle, and a cork. So to start, we make a baking soda packet. I take one square of toilet paper, and sometimes you can actually separate the plies. Ah, so you get one ply, something really nice, nice and thin. Then in this packet, you put just enough baking soda, uh -huh. just enough baking soda that you can wrap it up. So it's almost like a little present. Okay. So there's a packet of baking soda and I'll set that aside. And then in the bottle, I have any glass bottle will, will do. You put your vinegar. And this is where you can experiment with how much vinegar you want. So this bottle has about this much vinegar. Now as soon as the baking soda hits the vinegar, it's going to have a, a reaction. So I don't want the packet to fall in. I want it to stay right here in the neck. So I'm going to put it right here so it won't fall in and carefully take my cork, which look, it has kitty cats on it, and I'll push it into the bottle. I want the cork nice and tight. The tighter the cork, the more pressure it's going to take till it explodes. And I'm pushing the cork in, but the baking soda packet is right here. All right, so this is where it gets tricky. I'm gonna turn the video around and set this down so we can watch it explode. Let's... All right, so here's the bottle. Let's see if I could get this on my own. I'm gonna back up. I know you couldn't see the cork go up. It went about as high as my maple tree. I lost my kitty cat cork in that explosion. I don't know how high it went. I tried to follow the cork up with my tree, so I had to go in and find another cork, and this one has a dog. Well, my puppy cork didn't really work, so I think there was an air leak in it, which is kind of a good example that science is all about failure. You learn more from your failures than you do from your successes. So I had to go looking for another cork because in experiment number two, I lost the cork. It's somewhere in this yard. Experiment number three, that was a failure. So inside to the craft box and experiment number four, here we go. Well, that's how you explode a cork using a bottle, baking soda, toilet paper, and vinegar. Some things you can try are different amounts of vinegar, different amounts of baking soda, but the packet can't be too big because it has to fit down in the neck of the bottle. You can try different corks. Some corks are more porous than others and you'll find that some let air leak out. So the harder you push a cork into the bottle, the more pressure it will take till it explodes and you'll have to make sure that your baking soda 
and your vinegar have enough of a reaction to push that cork out. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something and I hope that you go home or you are home and you start doing some of these experiments on your own.